Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the Grayscale plugin you can find in the <clears throat> Andrews Plugins Volume 3. Now, the plugin is for Photoshop, it's for PSP as well as CC, CS6, CS5, etc. 32 bit and PC only. Right, just going to quickly uh, show some of the options. It's actually useful for photographic effects, creating uh, unusual different uh, grayscale black and white imagery. So I'm just going to, this is the default setting. There's a number of options which you can run through. I'm just going to quickly go through different uh, grayscale options. Just quickly run through. That one's obviously red green, uses, emphasizes the uh, red and the blue. Threshold, different threshold effects, darker effects, more cartoon like effects, very dark greys, grainier grey, more intense grey, again very threshold like effect. Obviously more white, grainy again, very dark. I'll just quickly click OK at that point. So you can see it uh, emphasizes the uh, sun on the uh, sea. So I'm just going to go back now. Undo the grayscale, filter, color, grayscale, and just put that back to 50% so you can actually see it. There's various options for adding color to the, the grayscale effect, so I'm just going to you now add a bit more red so you can just create subtle changes if you wish, or even more intense reds. Of course, you can apply. Also, you can mix the original image. mix settings you can again control them by an individual channel basis this plug actual plugin works in uh, RGB but it also works in CMYK obviously uh, the fourth channel is uh, ignored in this uh, uh, plugin in terms of but uh, also you can use it in the lab mode so uh, also the plugin works in other color modes but uh, you can explore that obviously yourself so it's, uh, you can just quickly tweak that. You can also change the noise, add noise. Also, I'm just going to reset it now. You can actually set the cutoff point of the, uh, so you can actually just go all the way there. You virtually see nothing there. It just becomes the white that's left. All the pixels below, obviously, that setting are just turned to white. vice versa you can actually make the uh, whole image become a lot darker or grey very grey there and of course that will also can be uh, used with these other settings as well so uh, creates different uh, effects and uh, like threshold effects right also you've got randomization I'm just going to quickly show you some of the extreme randomization so you can just apply just click there it sets randomly sets all the um, settings here as well as the options etc so it just runs through a whole heap of different uh, color options for you so if you want find one you like you can of course at that point I, was, I like that so I'm just gonna click that and you've got an unusual color scheme very quick and easy so go back to the grayscale again such 50 percent uh, there's also blend options which you can quickly apply so you can actually uh, output different settings there edge solar effects, posterization effects, gradient effects, frame effects. There's a whole heap of different options there for, again, you can randomize them. So uh, you just quickly blend, change the color. You can add additional color to the final result. Also, there's a post randomization effect. So you can, I'm just going to reset it again. You can also add additional color by just going to one of these options here. Gonna blend and just subtle color changes can be added click OK and you've got an unusual rainbow like effect very quick and easy using the grayscale plugin like I say found in volume 3 of the Andrews plugins 